we are here for session number two. This morning I already hit the track, so I'm gonna start releasing hopefully some track workouts for you guys, or at least that's down the road, something that I wanna do, if of course that's what you guys want to see, because I love the track. But now we're in the gym, so we are gonna start with a warm-up workout. So really, our focus is actually gonna be on the one West Coast Classic workout that was released. So it's a thruster rope climb workout. It's gonna be short, it's gonna be fast. We wanna make sure we are super warmed up for it. The shorter the workout, the longer the warm up. So always keep that in mind if you're competing, if you're just going to class to train, make sure if it's very, very short that day, you are getting your body super sweaty, super warm. The longer the workout, maybe not quite as long of a warm up that you need. So we're gonna get warmed up. We're gonna do a really long warm up. Then we're gonna hit that workout with high intensity just to see what it feels like. And from there, we'll probably go into a little bit of a progression based off the snatches that we did last week. So the one snatch from the floor and then the snatch below the knee. It's gonna be a really good day. This is my new drill. So I do my carry still. You guys have seen me do those before. Um, single arm. But right now I'm thinking about my ribs down. It's really hard. It seems like I should be able to go higher, but I can't. So long neck, elbows in. So I want them under my wrist. So I'm externally rotating at my wrist. And then I'm just lifting, thinking about scooping. So when I say scooping, I think about driving. So you'll notice I'm not just pushing forward. That's what I don't want to do. But I want to think about scooping up and under and that just turned my lat on and caused my, or not caused, but activated my serratus. That's what I'm focusing on here. So the goal is to do 10 reps. I actually can't do 10 in a row. So I usually do three or four, take a break, three or four, because I want to make them really good quality reps. So scooping and now I'm lifting as high as I can with keeping my elbows under my wrist. So really awesome activation for your serratus, for your lats, for your shoulders. I'm trying to keep my neck long, keep everything out of my traps. actually better. I thought it was recovering. I went out really hot on the first bike again and I just crashed and burned. Yeah, I know. I tried to get a head start on you and it did not work. You can never get a head start on me. <laughs> Sometimes I can. Just kidding. I just uh, can't hang on to it. That's the problem. Soon you will be able to. That's the scary part. I've had a... For, okay, so when we first started I could never beat him. Like I would cry. I would just try my hardest and I was always chasing him and I could never beat him. And then I slowly got a couple wins and lately I've been winning a lot, but he's trying again. So I feel like it's only a matter of time until I'm gonna have some tears when I can't beat you anymore. <laughs> Hopefully not, I'm not gonna cry anymore. But I do think you're, you're catching me slowly like I can feel it, which is scary. It's good, it's gonna be really good for training this whole year, but I can definitely feel, I can feel you nipping at my heels. <laughs> I feel like you're, like reinforcing some like toddler behavior where it's like the key to a girl's heart it's like making her cry <laughs> like i think that's kind of what you just said <laughs> no that's funny hey so this this workout we're about to do is the first one west coast classic released i was an individual in 2016. i was having not the best regionals i i mean it was good i was sitting in seventh but i had practiced much better than i was performing and i think some of it was nerves and i was seventh going into the last workout and i just thought i think it was like 24 points 28 points and i was like there's just no way like the girls in fourth and fifth literally have to not be as great at legless and i have to basically win the workout in order to get a spot and what happened was i ended up taking second and just with the way the points shook up i ended up jumping into the fifth place to earn my first bid to the crossfit games in 2016. so this workout i remember testing it and testing it and testing it and like those feelings i can kind of still feel those emotions like i feel like i could cry that was so exciting just hearing my name announced when i did not think it was possible um, and so i think believing anything is possible and just just keep working keep working keep working and that moment literally that moment i feel like changed definitely changed my life so it's going to be cool to repeat this and just see how i do and 
this time it will be team version, which is really cool. Um, so me and the other girl will decide who's doing the legless and who's doing the regular, but I'm gonna practice the legless today because I know I can always do the regular. My time then, I don't remember, I think it was like 3.35 or three, no, I think it was 3.53. Um, because I think I practiced it around 3.30 and I actually was a little bit slower, but that was at the end of a really high intensity weekend. We were super sore and I just did what I had to do and I ended up making it. Sheila, I think Sheila Barden might have beat me that time. I don't remember exactly, but it was, yeah, it was definitely special. Super stressful regionals um, just because she was, it was her first time shooting for the game. So it was like, it was a little bit more serious and I was still competing in the way the heat backed up. She would be... I forget how it was exactly, but Christy, right Christy would be like going and I'd be warming her up and then I would be like the heat or two after her. So I was running back from getting her prepared to going back and actually competing myself with a really tight window. So this workout especially, I don't even think I warmed up for. I just watched her qualify for the games and I was so jacked up, I could have cared less. Like I went out on the floor and I did it, but I all I wanted to do was just go give her a hug. It was so exciting and I could not have cared less to be out there but it was an exciting weekend. She went nuts. I remember seeing when they called her name or jaw hit the floor, I think in complete surprise, because they didn't know how the point spread out until they actually called her. But it was, it was a good start. Ladies and gentlemen, this just in from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. Media moguls Floyd Wonder are now the richest men in the world. That's right, forget about Carnegie, forget about Ford, forget about Rockefeller. Floyd Wonder has the Midas touch. Sources say they're worth millions. Some say billions. Look out, folks. Here they come. I don't really care. I'm a big billionaire. Like, I don't really care. I'm a big billionaire. Like, I don't, 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 I don't really care. I'm a big millionaire. Like, After the round 15, that's hard. I'm glad I did it. It hurts. Um, 
probably warm up my pulling a little bit more. It's a little bit grippy, but just knowing it's three, two, one. So for me, all the work was 15 thrusters. I hit nine and I was like, ooh, feeling a little shaky. First leg, this was fine. Second leg, I had to switch to the long kip. Nine thrusters felt really good. The final leg, I had to go with the long kip. So my pulling was just getting tired, but I was under 330, so I'm pretty happy with that. My transitions were super short. They won't be that short. I'll be rolling the bar back and forth, but I also treated it as a run through. So the adrenaline, the intensity, all that will change, especially when you're on the floor with the team. So it's a good run through. I'm excited for it. We literally tied. Good job. I made him nervous. He knew he better go. She's terrible. I go, I'm nervous. She goes, oh, just wait till you get there. I'm like, thanks. Just gotta toughen him up a little bit. I'm just kidding. That was great. You look so good. That was about the right pace. I couldn't go much better. It's actually gripping. I'm not used to that fatter rope. That's what we need to start using that. It like makes... the rope climbs weren't hard, but my grip. Yeah. So we switched out all the ropes of Polaris with ropes that don't shed as much and will last longer. And they actually happen to be a tiny bit thinner. So we have one rope left. That's about what we're gonna compete with. And that little bit makes a big difference. So we gotta start training on this one again. But all in all, really good day. We're really happy with it. Workout went really good. We're really happy with it. Uh, I think we were both pretty nervous. It's the same thing that I talked about last week. If you watched one of the vlogs where we repeated the workout from the 30 day challenge, the healthier you that we did with the gym, it's the same thing. So this is a workout I did back in 2016. I've definitely made a ton of progress since 2016. I'm stronger. I've got a ton more reps under my belt. I've got a deeper base now, but I still get that those nerves because you want to beat your score. And Maybe you don't always beat it and that's okay, but today I think we both were nervous just to see what it felt like and compare ourselves to the prior 2016 version of ourselves. I'm gonna snatch now just to end my day, just to keep up with the muscle memory, drill some good positional work that I've been working on, trying to correct some things in my snatch. Uh, but all in all, it was a great day, it was a great session and we're super, super happy with it. We've been talking a lot about our team, who's gonna be the other two. I know a lot of you guys think you know, but I bet you have no idea. So if you can guess our other two teammates, the other girl, the other male, then we will send you a goodie, goodie bag. Make sure you comment below with the two names. I'll give you a hint. The guy is a fellow Noble friend. So he may be somebody that's been a part of Noble for a while. So keep that in mind. Uh, make sure you guys guess below. It will be really soon. You have to guess before it's released on the West Coast Classic Instagram. Make sure you guys check out the rest of our links in our description. We just released hotel workouts. These are workouts basically where you just need a dumbbell. You could have a treadmill, a pool, or even just some space. So if you have those even at your house, there's 30 workouts that you could do at home as well for when life gets busy. Make sure to check that out. That's brand new. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned. And we'll bring you who our teammates will be shortly. Have a great day.